one of the things I've found that um, if we want to create real shift in our, in our classrooms and in our schools, is that we really have to understand where our students are coming from. And so at our school, we have a range of students that are coming from a range of backgrounds. And um, you know, I've really discovered this year that if, if we don't take the time to really engage in conversations with our students and understand where they're coming from and their trials and, and the strategies that they've put in place to um, basically survive the world that, that they're living in, if we don't understand that, then we're not going to get the shift that we need. And so we have to start with the student at the centre and recognise what it is in their lives that they value and then use that to inform our practice. We personalise learning uh, for all of our learners and uh, uh, be because that's what the special character is about, the first thing we do is, is run a meeting um, and inside that meeting we invite the student and the parent um, who sit alongside a member of staff um, and they build the, build the programme the, it starts with the student, so we, we explore with the student uh, what they're passionate about, what they're interested in, um, and the things that, that they think they need to, to incorporate into their, into their learning program. Um, once that happens, and depending on, on what the student identifies, then uh, we, use, we use that conversation to build a, a plan that's a bit more specific about how they access the curriculum. Um, and that can happen in a range of ways. They, they can opt into classes and uh, we structure those classes not at year level but at a, at a curriculum level so it's irrespective of their age they can access the learning at the, the level that's right for them. Um, if there aren't, aren't classes that appeal or, or if their um, learning program doesn't require a class uh, we can arrange for them to work out in the community uh, where they can work with business mentors or experts in a particular field uh, to support their learning or they can just work independently at school on, on something of their own choice. Well, we have, um, we, we do um, survey the community. We have done quite a bit of that recently with our um, leading into our um, rebuild process. So we're actually, we've just um, had a lot of um, information come back from our, from our parent community about um, how they would like our spaces to look and how they would like, and obviously there's sort of a um, synergy there with the idea of collaboration. We include students uh, and their whānau and the community uh, through those uh, IEM meetings, individual education meetings, where we discuss the priorities and goals of those students and and the hopes and dreams of their families. and uh, and we look at the way in which the community can support that. So it may not be necessarily their own son or daughter that the parents might be able to support, but they may have a particular set of skills which may be useful to another student who uh, has a certain passion and interest. And, uh, and so we encourage our parents to be involved in the learning community of Al Tafati and not just support their own son or daughter, but um, offer up skills and for, for our students to explore the things that they're interested in. Thank you.